Hello, my name is Evan Lewis and welcome back to Cincinnati Museum Center's Story Tree Time. And welcome to winter, the season. Now, even if it's not currently snowing where you are, through the magic of green screen technology, it can happen. You just need a green screen. All right, this week we're going to be reading The Tea Party in the Woods, and it's about the tea party in the woods. Let's read it. The Tea Party in the Woods by Akiko Miyakoshi. That morning, Kiko had awoken to a winter wonderland. It had snowed all night. Now her father was off to Grandma's house to help clear the walk. Is this the pie for Grandma? Kiko asked her mother, spotting the box near the door. Oh dear, her mother said. Your father forgot it. I can still catch up to him, said Kiko. All right, but hurry. Grandma's house was on the other side of the woods. Kiko set out, following her father's tracks in the fresh snow. The woods were very still, and so quiet. Kiko's footsteps were the only sound. After a while, Kiko spied a figure up ahead in a long coat and a hat. Papa, she called, as she ran to catch up. She struggled in the deep snow and fell. The pie box was crushed. Kiko felt like crying, but her father was almost out of sight. So she picked up the box and hurried after him. Kiko followed her father all the way to a strange house. Has it always been here? Kiko wondered. She couldn't remember having seen it before. She watched as her father went inside. Curious, Kiko peered through the window. She watched as he took off his long coat and hat. But he wasn't her father at all. Kiko had been following a great big bear. Are you here for the tea party? asked a kind voice. Kiko turned to see a little lamb standing nearby. This way, said the lamb, gently taking Kiko's hand and leading her inside. Kiko couldn't believe her eyes. And what did the other animals say when they saw her? Welcome, they cheered. A small rabbit led Kiko to her seat. You must be cold, said a boar. Please come in and warm yourself. We're about to serve the tea, said the rabbit. You're just in time. Once everyone was seated, a doe stood and began to speak. Thank you all for coming on this cold winter day. We have a special guest with us. What is your name, my dear? Kiko's heart raced. She gathered up all her courage and said, My name is Kiko. I was bringing a pie to Grandma. The animals all began to speak excitedly. That's so brave of you, going all by yourself. Your grandmother will be so pleased. Please, have something to eat. Everyone wanted to talk to the special guest. Kiko began to feel a bit braver. Over the noise, one of the rabbits spoke up. Is this the pie for your grandmother? Kiko looked down at the crushed box. Yes, but I fell. And now it's ruined. The animals glanced at one another. If it's pie you need, we have plenty to share. Slice by slice, they assembled a new pie on a pretty plate. Each piece had a different filling of seeds and nuts and fruit and other delicious things gathered from the woods. The doe carefully placed the plate into a new box and tied it with a red ribbon. How nice, said Kiko. She was so excited that she wanted to take the pie to Grandma at once. We'll come too, said the animals. The woods were filled with joyful sounds as everyone paraded to Grandma's house, singing and laughing and playing music as they went. This way, the animals called. Kiko held the pie box tightly and walked on. At last, they reached Grandma's house. Go on, the animals encouraged Kiko. Kiko knocked on the door and called, Grandma, I've brought you a pie. Grandma and Kiko's father appeared in the door, surprised. Kiko handed them the box. My dear, did you come all this way on your own? asked Grandma, stepping inside. Kiko looked around, but the animals were nowhere to be seen. You're never alone in the woods, Kiko answered, smiling. She was sure her new friends were listening. The end. Wasn't that fun? I think this book is gorgeous and kind of spooky, uh, but in a fun way. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please tune in every Wednesday at uh, whenever they feel like putting it up on the Cincinnati Museum Center Facebook page and Instagram. 
And until then, I will see you around. Goodbye.